Whether you're setting up your iPhone for the first time or just trying to make it a more practical tool, the first place to start is with the Contacts app. Nearly all of Apple's apps connect to one another to make them more useful. But the Contacts app does so in some really important ways. Let me show you how. Hi, my name is Rich and welcome to the channel. I don't say this often enough, but thanks to all of you who've watched my videos and helped this channel grow. I do my best to make these videos not only helpful, but easy to follow. And if easy to follow videos on how to use your iPhone and iPad sounds like something you'd be interested in, then please consider subscribing because as another YouTuber friend says, why not? Okay, in today's video on the Apple Contacts, I'm gonna show you how the Contacts app connects to other apps, how to add a contact and the important fields you don't wanna leave empty, how to create contact lists, how to use Siri to call a family member, and how to share a contact with others. All right, let's get started. When you create a contact in Apple Contacts, you're actually creating an entry in a database. And that database in Apple Contacts connects to a whole bunch of different apps. Let me show you how this looks. So if you have contacts and then it connects to your phone, FaceTime, it connects to maps, to your calendar, and even the health app. So when you uh, set it up, this is how it works. Now, like I said, all of the other apps connect in one way or another and to one degree or another, but Contacts is kind of unique because it connects to a whole bunch of different apps, uh, just like this, what I'm showing you here. Now, let me show you more specifically what this looks like on your iPhone when you start to add Contacts. Like I said earlier, when you get your iPhone, one of the best things you can do and one of the first things you should do is add all of your contacts. So let's start with that. Now I'm going to show you how to add a contact. You can actually open the contacts app and go into your contacts and tap the plus and add the contact. And that's simple enough to do. But for me it's easier to just press and hold and you get create new contact. Now from here, you just enter information like you normally would. And then you add a phone and we'll call this a mobile phone. And you've added a phone number and you can add an email. whatever his e the email address is. And you can add different things. You can add a ringtone that's unique to that personal, uh, or to that person. Um, I don't typically do that. You can add a, a, a web address if they happen to have a page. And you can add your address. This is one of the important ones. I always add the address because that connects to the map. So now I've got an address in there. I always add a birthday. We'll make it March 6th, 1930, because that's my mother's birthday and she's still doing great. Nope, I don't want to add a Chinese birthday. And then you can add other things, a related name, a social profile, an instant message. You can put some special notes in here about this person if you'd like. And now you have all of this in here. And you can click Done. And now you have added a new contact. And you can message them with their phone number. You can call them with the phone. You can email them. You can FaceTime them. Um, you can get directions through maps based upon 
the address that you put in there. And just like what I showed you on the iPad, it connects to all of those things. So it's important to get those fields into each contact that you add on your iPhone. It's not really hard, but it's important. Okay, the next thing I want to show you is how to add a contact list and why that might be important. I have a whole bunch of contacts on my iPhone and I kind of like to separate them out. Maybe I have friends, maybe I have work uh, people or people that I work with, uh, family members, that kind of stuff. And when you have a whole bunch of contacts, it can get kind of unwieldy trying to find you know who you're looking for. But if you have lists, it's really easy. And here's how you do it. You simply tap on the word lists and you go back and you click on add list and I'm going to name it family and then I'm going to tap done and then when I tap on it well there's nobody there so I can add contacts to that so I'm going to add my mom my brother my wife my sister and I'm going to click done and now all of their contact information shows up in my family list right there. So now, rather than going in and having to rifle through a whole bunch of different contacts, if I want to just get to my family, I can do that and there they are, all easy and simple to get to. And that's how you create a list and why you might want to create a list. Not too hard. Sometimes I want to call my mom and I want to use Siri to call my mom. I don't even want to open up the contacts app and tap on her name or go to the phone app and, you know, type in a phone number or tap on something there. I just want to ask Siri to call my mom. And here's how you set that up. So I'm going to press on the button. Call mom. I don't see a mom in your contacts. What is your mom's first and last name? Lucille Bolin. Okay. Want me to remember that Lucille Bolin is your mom? Okay. I'll remember that Lucille Bolin is your mom. Which one? Calling Lucille Bolin. And now I've added my mom uh, to the list that Siri knows. So now when I ask Siri to do it, call mom. Calling Lucille. And just like that, you've added a family member to Siri, and you can do that as many times as you want. And now it gets handy, because now you can just ask Siri to call your brother, or your mom, or you can use any name that you want, and Siri will remember that going forward. I just find that to be really helpful, particularly when I'm in my car or something like that. I don't tend to like to use my phone when I'm in my car. I have car play. I need to keep my two hands on the wheel. But to be able to press the Siri button on my um steering wheel and just ask her to call mom is a great way to do it. All right, the next thing I want to show you is how to share contacts. People can share contacts with you and you can share contacts with other people and that way you don't have to type in all the information in the contacts app. So in this case, we'll go back into my family list and if you just press and hold, I'll do my brother Mike, you can go share and now I can ask who do I want to share it with and I'll tap on that. And then you type in whoever you want to share it with and you hit send and you've shared the list. And now my brother's information goes to them and they have the ability to open that up and just save it on their phone and it goes automatically into their contacts app. So if you don't want to enter a whole bunch of information and you have friends who have contact information on their phones, if it's an iPhone, it can't be from an Android, but from an iPhone, they can share that information with you. And that's how you share a contact. All right, the last thing I want to talk to you about is emergency contacts. If you remember on the iPad, um, I showed that this connects to the health app. I've got a video on how to use the health app and I'll include that in the link in the description below. You can set up people in your contacts to be notified in the event of an emergency and they will be added to your emergency list in your health app. And this is how you do it. If you open up one of your contacts, in this case it's my mother, I can add to emergency contacts. You just have to tap on that and you choose whether you want a mobile phone or whatever information you have about that person to be notified. I'm just going to choose the phone and I'm going to put the relationship as my mother and now I'm done. 
And now my mother has been added to the contact list in my health app. So if I were to be in an automobile accident and I used the SOS capability of the health app to call for help, they will automatically be sent a text message saying, hey, something's happened, you know, you need to call and check in. And it's just a great way, particularly as you get older, to have a way to contact each other in the event of an emergency. It's really handy. You know, I hope that all of this kind of makes sense, but getting this information in your contacts app just touches base with so many other applications on the iPhone. And that's what makes it so important to get this information in there uh, as one of the first things you do. So I hope you can see how it just makes sense to add your contacts as one of the first things you do when you get your iPhone. In one way or another, almost every time I pick up my iPhone, I'm using the contacts app, whether I know it or not. All right, that's it for today. I hope this short video helps you get started with Apple Contacts. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.